Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video and today I'm going to be showing you how to recover from getting scammed and how to get your items back potentially in Rocket League. So if you want to know about all that stuff, make sure you stick to the end, like, subscribe and share. Okay guys, let's just get into the video very fast so none of you have to waste your time. In, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can recover from getting scammed on Rocket League now chances are if you're watching this video you've probably been scammed not that long ago and you're just really scared that you don't know how to recover from getting scammed out of either your whole inventory or just a decent amount of it so in this video i'm going to be going over just that and i've actually been scammed quite a lot even though it might not look like it when i had like the white zombies but i actually got scammed from that but if you're a new trader it's easier for you to get scammed also i know exactly what to do after you've been scammed so if you guys have recently be sc been scammed i would highly recommend watching this whole video since it would be pretty useful for you all right guys so the first thing i want to, you to do is i want you to go on rocket league's official website and then email Sionix because i've heard that if you email Sionix after you've been scammed they can apparently revert the trade and give you back your items but unfortunately your items will be on trade lock since obviously i'm actually not even sure why they put the items on trade lock but i think it's some sort of security reason just in case like you, you know let's say you got scammed but it was just your friend or something but if you email them on the official website saying you've been scammed and give them a good explanation or you provide them with proof they can actually reverse the trade and give you back your items but the they will be untradeable because unfortunately there's no other way of getting your items back apart from just email Sionix and hopefully they give back the untradeable items because I believe it or not there's a scam going around where people say that uh, if you email this email that you get your scammed items back but this is just um, yeah because it's there's this email going around where if you put your email into it they can grab your email account details on xbox or ps4 and then get into your rocket league account so do not fall for that and take your whole inventory because they can just swipe clean your inventory completely which is going to put you in an even worse state than you already are so i'll just recommend staying away from these email scams because most of them are just going to be you know nine out of ten times they're probably fake so yeah guys i just wanted to bring that to your attention so so yeah i'm going to move on to the second tip right now guys so the second tip I do have for you guys it's just to get back on your feet and start trading again like you used to since it's much better than just asking for free items since you're just wasting your time that way so I'll just recommend starting to trade so the main trading tips I do have for you guys is if you have been scammed out of the most of your inventory is to trade with small black market decals and cheap octanes and buy them for 100 to 150 under minimum and so sell them for minimum to mid value since that works really well and another tip i do have for you guys is to buy stuff like Tora tunes and solar flares for 100 to 150 credits since you can then flip them for item overpays and if you do get item overpays you can then sell those item overpays for credits which can make you quite a bit of profit and I'll just recommend um, not. I'll just recommend um, not to be scared of how to sell items, since chances are, if you have been scammed, you probably don't have much of an inventory, so you don't really have much of a choice. So you'll probably have to trade with how to sell items, unfortunately. And yeah, those are some basic trading tips I do have for you guys. If you want more trading tips, I would recommend watching my beginners trading i would recommend you watching how to get profit video that i made like two days ago and now i'm going to mo move on to the third tip i do have for you guys is to let go of the scammer or the scamming situation and what i mean by this is you trying to get that scammer on the scammers list probably won't even do anything because you can't get banned for scamming if you want if you have proof for the scammer you still can't get them banned it's just stupid i know literally no one checks the scammers list which why a lot of scammers don't even mind getting put on a scammers list since they know they probably no one will check and before they do trade and even if they do check chances and make sure you check that website so you don't fall for their scams so i just recommend 
not even trying to put the scammers on the scammers list. See, that would just be wasting your time that you could spend on trading on Rocket League. And another tip, I'll, another tip I would have for you is to just avoid. Guys, to avoid is just... So I see a lot of people on like PS4 communities saying just being scammed, need free items now. That is one thing I need you guys to stay away from since that is basically a waste of time since no one's going to give you free items. Just like that is, it's not really how Rocket League works. And yeah, very, very rarely you'll get free items that are actually good. And even if you do get free items, it's probably not even worth that much. So I just recommend spending the time uh, you um, did spend on trying to get the scam on the scammers list or trying to get free items. You might as well spend that time working your way back up because it makes you the most profit then rather asking for free items you might as well work your way up that is just a game isn't it that's how the game works scammers can be scammers for the fourth tip now i do have for you guys is to learn how to avoid scams now i have recently made a lot of videos on how to avoid scams a lot of videos i put i might put in in the top right or the top left but not quite but it's somewhere around it basically teaches you how to avoid every single scam for most scams all you guys have to do is just hold, hover over the item or hold the left stick on the item. Just keep clicking the left stick, whatever button brings to, uh, to show the item details. If you're on pre PC, that should be, that should be a uh, different, it, obviously it's not going to be joystick, but obviously some scams are different, but I'll be, uh, definitely should watch my how to avoid scam videos. It will really help you out in the future. And yeah, guys, that was all my tips for this video. And if you did enjoy this video and it helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you, if, and guys, if this does help you out, make sure you like, subscribe and share. And also, make sure you comment down below what videos I should make. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.